remember playing soccer back in my yard with my parents uh, when I was probably like five years old. And uh, back in Norway, you have to be at least seven to be able to play in a team. So I started playing in the team when I was the age of seven. I come from a, a small, small place. It's uh, 750 people only who lives there. And, uh, you know, but I've always loved to train. And when you, when you come from a small place like that, it's just important that you, you get on with training and you, you're actually a part of all the activities that goes, goes around. My parents have been really supportive all the, all the time, but they have not been pushed, you know. So they've been like, whatever you want to do, Jan, just do it and, you know, we'll support you. So I'm really happy about uh, having parents like that. But there is also, you, you don't have to have like parents who push you to, to become a good player. You, it, it can be both. So. I, it's always been my free will to, to train a lot and do mostly stuff on my own because I grew up in a small place. If you really love to do something, you, you, you do it every day and you, you, you develop certain skills and suddenly there is just something that tells you, okay, this, this I have the talent, I, you know, I, I, I really love to do it and to just stick with it and along the way you you learn that you're, it's not always that you're better than the rest of the guys that plays, but in, in a small way, it's, you feel like this is something for me. I went as a junior player to Old Grenland, that's uh, the first uh, team I played for in, in the top division, and that was in the age of 19. So I got selected from the junior squad to go with, with the first team, and suddenly in the age of 19, I got my chance. And, uh, after that, I also got selected to go to play with a national team. But I didn't do any games with a national team before the age of 19. So, uh, but because of being in the first team in this club, I, you know, that was a that was a very good thing for a 19-year-old. And then I got selected to go and play on a on a on a higher level. It's what you dream about. You you watch to your to your right and to your left, and you see like star players that you always supported and suddenly being there and then but you just have to realize you're there for a reason and you know the, the guys took really good care of me as coming in new in the squad and stuff so but it's just important because all the guys they know why you're there because you did well on your club team and you you deserve the, sh uh, the shot so you just have to try to grab it and and stick with it and uh, that's what I did I so I played a lot of games during that period. I think you feel pressure, but I think you mostly, you would like to, to push the people, the older guys, uh, you know, you would like to take their spot. I was like, I, I've been a more like an all-round player. I played in a lot of different positions. And the main thing was to, you know, uh, try to get into the team every week. And if the coach needed a right back, then I would definitely, you know, try to make it my spot and do the best as I could on, on, on practice to, to convince him that actually give me a shot because I really want this. And that, that I think is an important thing for young kids today to think about that it's not always about if you're an attacking player, if you're a defender, it's like what you can do and how you can try to get time on the field because that's the, that's the one thing you actually you can do you a lot, a lot better as a player.